So you want to live a nomadic lifestyle, but you might be thinking, how am I going to make money doing that? Well, I assure you there is a way. And today I'm going to share with you the three ways that I have made money while living in my vehicle. So the first thing I want to talk about in this video before I get into the three jobs that I've worked is my stance on working as a nomad. And basically the way I feel is that everybody who wants to live a lifestyle like this needs to have some kind of skill that they can get a job in in any market that they go to. So by that I mean like you're going to be traveling a lot, right? And you want to have some kind of marketable skill that no matter where you are, you can always get a job because you never know when you're going to need to make a few extra bucks. So, for example, me, that job is waiting tables. Waiting tables, that is a skill that I have. It fits in my suitcase. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And if it ever comes down to an emergency, I know that pretty much anywhere I am, I could get a get a job uh, waiting tables. And so that's something you need to have. And there's... Lots of things, like I'm sure you're good at a lot of stuff, like maybe you're good at general labor, or maybe you can sew, or something. Some some marketable skill that you can get a job no matter where you are. That's the first most important thing. If you don't have something like that, I think that the best thing that you can do for yourself if you want to live this lifestyle and make money while doing it, is find out what you can do. So maybe you're really good at sales. Pretty much anywhere you go, you can get a sales job. Um, if you want to work in the restaurant industry, that's kind of what I recommend. I have another video on the hospitality industry as a whole. I'll put a link to that in the description, basically, because that's that's just a great job for traveling, because no matter where you go, there's always going to be somebody who needs a waiter or a bartender or somebody to clean hotel rooms and things like that. So that's my first position. Have some kind of job that fits in your suitcase that you can take anywhere and that always has some sort of high demand. All right, and now that being said, here are the three jobs that I have worked while living in my vehicle. Uh, maybe I'll tell it kind of like a story. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so when I first started living in my vehicle, I start. I, I had just finished doing this play in Florida, and um, I started doing Postmates. So that is the first job that anybody who lives in a vehicle can do. Now, if you've got a bigger car like an RV or something like that, obviously gonna be more difficult. So this is more for people who have smaller vans and things like that. Honestly, like a Prius conversion, this would be a great job for you. Because the reason why I stopped doing this job is because of, uh, because of the, the gas situation. It was expensive and things like that. But if you've got a Prius, great job. So anyway, Postmates, for those of you who don't know, is a food delivery service. It's kind of like Uber, but for food. So there's an app and people can pick a restaurant and say, I want this and this and this from this restaurant. And then you get a notification on your phone, you hit accept, you drive to the restaurant, you pick up the food, they give you a, a debit card, Postmate sends one to you, which would be kind of a technical issue if you're living in your car, you'd have to have some place to send that to, to get the card. But anyway, once you have the card, you go into the restaurant, you pay with the card, um, and then you take the food to the customer and then you get paid per your mileage, per your time, and then the customer gives you a tip. I think on average, before taxes and wear and tear on my vehicle and stuff like that, I think I probably made around 15 to $17 an hour. Working the busy times, of course. Um, so it was a good job. It was a good first job for me. And uh, the cool thing about Postmates is, is they have like, I don't, I forget exactly how many markets they are. I wanna say there's like, 20 to 40 different markets, maybe, maybe even more, maybe there's more cities now. But anyway, there's a lot of markets all over the US. So if you're traveling, you could, you know, say you're seeing some national parks in Arizona, you could drive into Phoenix and work for four or five days doing Postmates and then move on. And if you're going to Joshua Tree or something like that, and then after that, go and work in Los Angeles or San Diego. So it's very flexible. It has um, places to work all across the United States. You don't have to worry about getting hired. So for those reasons, it's really good. I stopped doing the job, like I said earlier, because it was expensive for me because my car doesn't get great gas mileage. So that is one thing. If you're living in a van, it may not be the best thing, but if you're in a smaller car, especially you Prius dwellers, then it is a perfect job for you. So that's Postmates. And so the second job that I had, so I stopped doing Postmates, right? And I found out about this website called Coolworks, which I talk about in my hospitality video. Again, link in the description if you want to see that one. Um, and 
I found out about Coolworks and I got hired to work at a resort waiting tables. Now I'd waited tables before. I'd never done, um, I'd never worked at a resort. And it was a it was an awesome experience. I made a ton of money. I don't want to give exact figures, but if you're waiting tables at a resort, um, you're gonna do good. I I I just got a feeling. I gotta I gotta assume you're gonna do good just because the people going there they're on vacation. You know, it's usually a nice place. Like, and if you're a nice person, I feel like you can do really well doing that. I really like the job because it's flexible. You can work in different places. So I, I've worked, I worked in Montana last summer. Those of you who've been following this channel, you know I'm headed to Montana right now to work at that same resort again, waiting tables again and bartending now. And I, it's just great, you know. You, the people who work there, it's kind of a close-knit community with the fellow employees. You're all kind of in a remote place, so you all hang out with each other. Um, yeah, it's a great job for that reason. The downsides are once you're there, not good to leave. So it definitely happens. There is some turnover, but um, it's it's not really good form to leave in the middle of the season because most of the resorts are corporate, and so they do corporate training at the beginning of the season, and so rehiring people is kind of difficult mid-season. And also, it kind of hurts your reputation. If you leave mid-season, you're kind of nixed from ever working there again. So if you're going to do resort work, you are going to be stuck at that resort for three to five months, depending on the season. And that's the second thing. If you, It's not so great um, if you're going to work in something else other than maybe waiting tables because once the season starts, it's also hard to get a job. So if your thing is um, uh, maybe doing a, what turn down service, what do they call that with the maids? What do housekeeping? If you're doing housekeeping and you like working at resorts, well, once the season starts, it might be kind of tough to get a job. So there's that to consider that you kind of have to be a little bit more proactive in planning as opposed to Postmates, for example. And I think that pretty much sums up working at the resort. That was the second job I had. Yeah. All right. And the third job that I had is background acting. Fun job. Really fun job. Um, so basically, the way that works is there's four places in the United States where you can do this. Los Angeles, obviously, is the busiest one, but you can do it in New York City. You can do it in Atlanta. Louisiana has an office, uh, so that's got to be like New Orleans and Baton Rouge, I would guess. And then, what did I say? New York, uh, Louisiana, Atlanta, and Los Angeles. Los Angeles is pretty much the place for this, though. Like, if you want to get some good work, you got to go to Los Angeles. Like, if you need to make some money, you can definitely do it, but you got to go to LA. So background acting, basically you go to this agency and you register. It doesn't cost anything whatsoever. And then they post on their Twitter page different jobs. And it'll say, like, looking for a tw looking for 20s to 40s African-American males for a shoot in Los Angeles on May 17th, 2018. Um, so that's basically what it'll say. And then it'll have a phone number, and you call the phone number, and they answer the phone, and they say, you look great. They have your picture on file. They say, you look great. And then they send you the information, and you go there. Background acting is really cool. You get free food. You get to work on movie sets. I really enjoyed it. For did it for about five months. Um, made good money. With background acting in Los Angeles, you make minimum wage, but you make a base rate. So you get minimum wage times eight hours. Right now, minimum wage is twelve dollars in Los Angeles. I think it goes up to thirteen fifty in June. So the base rate right now is $96 for eight hours, guaranteed. Now there are times when you go onto set and you only work for two hours and you make a hundred bucks for two hours. And if you're doing Postmates at the same time as background acting, you can do background acting in Postmates if you're in LA or Atlanta or one of those markets. Um, so that's what's cool about background acting. It's really good money, good food, awesome food on set. I have a video, Background Acting 101. I'll put that in the description too. I forgot I made that video. So I'll put that in the description too. And um, yeah, the downsides are you have to be in the city, obviously. So you're not going to be in nature or anything like that. You're going to have to be in the city of Los Angeles. But thankfully with Los Angeles, it's pretty friendly to people who live in their cars. So 
that's a good thing about that. So you can do it in an RV. There's plenty of places to park an RV in LA. Um, but yeah, that's background acting. Other downsides are it can be tough to book the work. Sometimes you really have to be proactive and on it. Sometimes I've spent 30 minutes on the phone trying to get through and then you don't get through. And so that's kind of painful. Um, but it's definitely worth it once you book the job. It feels good and pays good. It's cushy. You can sit there and read most most all day and um, who knows maybe you'll catch maybe you'll catch your big break maybe a director will throw you a line I've seen it happen so yeah that's background acting alrighty so those are the three jobs and kind of my approach to working the three jobs that I've worked and my approach to working if you're gonna be a nomad um, I think that pretty much sums it up I've had a really good experience working I really haven't had a problem with it so if you're holding off living like this on the fear that you won't be able to work or you'll, or you'll run out of money I don't think there's fear in it be sure to check out the video I'm gonna put in the description where I talk more about the hospitality industry and how to get jobs in that and check out the background acting video too um yeah, this has, been, this has been really fun this week, thinking about all the ways of making money. If you're enjoying Money Week and you're a new subscriber, be sure to subscribe. For those who don't know <laughs> that I'm doing Money Week, basically every day this week I'm talking about different ways of making money, how I make money, different jobs, and things like that. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. I've been, um, it's kind of been a crazy week for me. <laughs> I'll do a little update. I made this play in the stock market earlier this week, and I'm just gonna see how it pans out. There's supposed to be some big news, so either I'm gonna I'm gonna bust through the roof, or I'm gonna not really make much money at all. So I'll talk about that at some point this week too. Okay, I have said enough. Thank you all so much for watching. I don't think there's anything else to say, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. I think, probably. Yeah, I'll do a video tomorrow. Okay, bye everyone.